a solo's dilemma. Do I follow my path or the path that was drawn for me? A path full of rockets and lawless players. But my path is one for a clean conscience. A solo with a heart. A solo with the courage to jump. Not aimlessly into the roaring ocean, but to jump knowing that the wind will carry you above the chaos safely home. Now, let's continue the story. I had just taken oil rig and I was on my way back home. As soon as I got inside, I began storing away things. But more importantly, I hung up some new weapons on my weapon rack. Before doing anything else, I made sure my furnaces were full. And then I began replacing my final sheet metal doors with garage doors. I had just taken an oil rig and it was far too easy so I took advantage of this time and decided I needed to take oil rig again. I made my way out to my boat and I went straight there.
I had done it again, so I took my loot, dived into the ocean, and disappeared. And as the sun began to rise, I took a moment to admire the view. I was ready to add power to the base, but I was in need of gears, so I headed to the mainland in search of some. On any other day, I wouldn't have killed this guy, but his arrow hit my horse. What can I say?
when it was fully dark, I grabbed my fishing rod and I headed out to do some fishing. The waves were intense, but somehow it was still so peaceful. Take this moment for yourself. Let go of the stress that's been holding you down. Let it wash away into the sounds of the ocean. above water and land for too long. It was time to go underground. So I geared up and I made my way.
just like that, I made it to outpost. The amount of scrap I'd get from this run would be all I'd need for the rest of the wipe. Hi! Hi! Hey! hey. This photographer left me a gift, a gift that I would keep, and in return, I gave him this. The vending machine I built a little while ago was made just for this moment. Please, please, I need scrap. Please, someone. I took this moment to organize my loot. Finding items in my boxes was becoming a task I didn't enjoy. This would help.
after setting up my lockers and making some final adjustments to my base, I decided to go diving for some final items. I finally had the triangle hatch blueprint so I could completely seal off my base. And with that, I set down a battery and began to power up my base. As a solo, sometimes an auto turret is the only backup you need. A campfire was an idea of the past. Now, we had light. And at that particular moment, as the sun was setting, I felt accomplished. I did much more than most solos could do in one wipe and somehow my base stood tall and so i set up my second turret the three of us would defend this base if we needed to And as I sat on my sofa, I reflected 
on the chaos that we saw along the way. But somehow, we're here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And a special thanks to my YouTube members. You've been watching an Orange Dream production.